I'll fetch Thunder Pelt. Stay where you are. I don't know, Blue Star. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Tenniel Teaches the 12 Principles of Animation. We're going to talk about the animation principles today of slow in and slow out. Uh, slow in and slow out, um, or as some people like to call it, easing, is essentially the idea that things don't start and stop all at once. You need to ease in and out of actions to make them believable. So when something like like here, we'll just do a really quick example here. So let's say we want to get this line from this side of the page over to this side of the page. Now, we can do that by placing lines in between each of these uh, drawings. And those are evenly spaced out, so then if I go in here to my camera, we can put this on repeat, and we'll see the line zoom across the page um, at a pretty even pace, because it's just going in between each, like, in between each of those drawings, exactly. And, you know, let's say this line represents a person, and that's like, you know, a hand moving across the screen or something. <laughs> It's not going to move like that. You don't want things to move all at once and stop all at once and move with like even pacing like this. Instead, what you want, let's say we've got our three drawings here. We've got the beginning, the middle, and the end. Slow in and slow out means you start off moving just slightly. But that space gets bigger with each new drawing. So now we have the slow into the action, and then we'll do the same thing over on this side where we slow out of the action. So here we can see that the line starts off moving very slow, it slows out of position, it goes fast in the middle, and then it slows in to position at the end. And that's just naturally how your body or anything that works in this universe would look, because that's how physics works, something that moves it's, it's Newton's laws of physics where it's like, if something um, is moving, it's gonna take a little while to get you to stop. Nothing stops all at once. So, with that being said, let's take a look at my finished map parts here. These map parts needed small movements, but even in these small movements, we've got some slow ins and slow outs to their actions. So, right here we have Fireheart. This animation cuts off before he reaches his resting pose. He slows out of the pose here and into a faster movement. And then same can be said for Blue Star's animation here. Her animation is very slight at first. Just a little change in facial expressions before she whips up and then slows into this pose. She then holds this pose as she's giving this dialogue so that all the emphasis of the animation can be focused on her face and her emotion because when things are moving around it's hard to read a character's expression. And then yet again she slows into the next pose. Slow here, fast, and then slow again. I hear some nice little squash and stretch on her face as she slows out and down and then into the final pose. And then here we have the next part, and you can see the spacing in between 
you know, these frames here on Fireheart is very minimal for and these are very slight and then they get a little further apart especially like this it's further apart and then he slows into this head pose he holds it slow then fast and then ease right about there into the last one. So yeah, this is hopefully a fairly short tenille teaches. It's very handy for making your movements look more believable and making sure that your characters follow the laws of physics and slow in and slow out definitely helps that. So I hope this is helpful and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. More map parts on the way soon. Bye bye. I'll fetch Thunder Pelt. Stay where you are. I don't know, Blue Star.